let's say that this right over here is the graph of lowercase f of x. That's lowercase f of x there. And let's say that we have some other function, capital F of x. And if you were to take its derivative, so capital F prime of x, that's equal to lowercase f of x. Lowercase f of x. So given that, which of these, which of these could be the graph of capital, of capital F of x? And I encourage you to pause this video and try to think about it on your own before we work through it. Well, if, if this curve is going to be the derivative of one of them, that means that any, for any x value, it's describing what the instantaneous rate of change or what the slope of the tangent line is of whichever one of these is the possible capital F of x. So let's just look at a couple of things about here. So what, what do we know about lowercase f of x? What do we know which is the derivative of one of these? Well, one thing we know is it's always positive. It, it has, as we go to negative infinity, it asymptotes towards zero, but it's always positive. So since this is describing the slope of one of these, that means that the slope of one of these, all, or out of the candidates, has to always be positive. And if we look at this, the slope of the tangent line here is indeed always positive. The slope of the tangent line here does look like it's positive. Every time we increase in x, we're increasing by y. Here it's positive, but here it's negative. When we increase by x, we decrease by y. So we can rule, we can rule this one out. Now what else, what else do we know? Well, this is the derivative. This is telling us the slope of the tangent line. So for example, when x is equal to, when x is equal to negative four, f of, f of negative four is pretty close to zero. It's pretty close to zero. It's just slightly, slightly more than zero. So that tells us that the slope of the tangent line of capital F of x has to be pretty close to zero when x is equal to negative four. So let's see, when x is equal to negative four here, this slope, the slope of the tangent line here isn't close to zero. This actually looks closer to one. So we could rule this one out. Over here, when x is equal to negative four, the slope of the tangent line, yeah, that actually does look pretty close to zero, so I won't rule that one out. And over here, the slope of the tangent line, when x is equal to negative four, that also looks pretty close to zero. So these are still both in the running. So let's see how we can think of a difference. So let's just pick another point. When x is equal to, when x is equal to zero, f of zero looks like it's pretty close to one. I don't know if it's exactly to one. Actually, it looks almost exactly, almost exactly equal to one. So when capital f of, so at capital f of zero, the slope of the tangent line needs to be pretty close to one. So over here, the slope of the tangent line when x is equal to zero that looks smaller than one. So this slope is definitely not one. While over here, when x is equal to zero, the slope of the tangent line does look, the slope of the tangent line does look pretty, pretty close, pretty close to one. So this right over here looks like the best candidate for capital, for capital f of x. So that one right over there, let me, that is capital F of x. And you might see, hey, these look very similar to each other. In fact, they look almost, or actually they do look identical. And you might remember from what you knew about differentiation that actually these both look like the basic exponential function. Where, where I didn't ask you to figure out what the actual function was, just what the possible antiderivative of this function would be. This is the derivative, lowercase f is the, ca is the derivative of capital F, or you could say that capital F is an antiderivative of lowercase f. And when you just inspect this, this looks like this, the function, both of these functions is, are e to the x because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x.